Dolly, 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 Dolly. marinating in the bath for about half an hour now and I'm just contemplating the things that I'm going to do this morning which will be along the lines of computer, 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 computer. Yeah, I've got those two demijohns going with wine at the moment and then I thought why don't we make something a little bit more peculiar so I've got this and this is a fruit fermentation bucket and it's got a few bits inside but god it's a big bucket look at the size of that um, we can use it for other stuff as well I suppose but the idea is you put your fruit inside um, whatever it says on the recipe and then you let it ferment and then you can start using that once you've drained it and like taken all the syrup out you can use it for wine and alcohol so that would be a fun idea <coughs> I'm really do I'm really tired. Just, just, just go away. It's late. It's gone twelve o'clock. Yeah, you can eat. It's fine. I'm just too tired. Go to, the, go to the gym. I don't want to go to the gym. I'm working. I'm cooking you food. Oh, oh, oh! High five! High five! <laughs> it's been one of those days where time's just flown by, but now I'm feeling like a coffee break and I've run out of cream. <laughs> I am getting through so much cream, so many fats, but I found out that a reasonable, or should I say a clinical um, ketosis diet, keto diet, you should be on 90% fat. It's a lot. It is a little distressing at the moment for me and the dogs because they can't go out for runs. Obviously they can't because their legs are really bad. But what I did buy was this. And this might not seem much, but it's actually an attachment. It's actually an attachment for my bike, my mountain bike, which I have here. And I also bought, brought back the trolley for the dogs. So tomorrow I'm gonna take out the bike, which I have here. My other bikes are in Devon. I can't get a hold of them because Ross has locked his house up and then I'm going to attach this to this to the bike and then I'm just going to drag them around full and I still have some fat to lose and tomorrow we are going to do back and shoulders at the gym because if I don't continue to go to the gym and train I will get fat and that's not something I want okay guys I am going to go to bed now sleep it off and I will see you tomorrow I thought it was cream that's why it's on, but it's not. It's in the same pot as a cream, it's Daniel's, and it says it's a five minute peeled face mask. And by the time I put it on, I put loads on, so I thought, oh shit, just leave it on for a while. The traffic's so bad on Munster Road at the moment. We're walking down to the gym, and you know what? Too many coffees, too much cream in there, even though I need the cream. Come on, Daniel. And I feel sick, and I don't want to go to the gym, and I'm not going to complain anymore. I'm going to go and enjoy it. I just put fucking moisturizer. Enjoy. Jack is hobbling still, but she's much better. So I am gonna attempt to take her out tomorrow and let her have a gentle run around so she doesn't damage her leg even more. You're having a poo, Jack. How lovely. Come on, Jack. Let's get back inside. Come on, Belle. Cut you just this every time, you know. Go to the toilet. And then she has to wait outside until I do this. Go on then, inside, go poo. I have to watch it. Go on then. Okay, so I've walked in this kitchen maybe three, four times now because I'm so hungry. My eating window has been shortened, but I am reframing from going to the fridge. It's so hard, so I'm just drinking water at the moment but it is working. I'm gonna to stick to it and make sure it happens. I am gonna be ripped, 
not going to happen overnight, unfortunately. But I am aiming for that. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed and try and sleep because all I can think about is my tummy rumbling. So I'm going to say goodnight, guys, and I'll see you in the morning. I'm pissing, John. Mama, you cannot just not. Don't piss me out. You're leaving me again to do everything in the house. You're making the mess. So I received my bicycle stand today. So it's just one of those things, you know, so you can prop it up. And I also got, I saw it the other day, like a little hit so I can put the trailer on, so I can pull the dogs around which I thought would be a great idea, but unfortunately it's the wrong size. So I've, I've just contacted the company to find out if I can get another one the right size so eventually I can get the trailer on and take the dogs out because I'm so reluctant to take them out for a run because Jack's still on the borderline of bad and Belle's bad and I need to wait for this medication to kick in. So I've got this pain and I'm just going over the roof and hopefully it should make it nice and black. Let's see. Seriously, the things that I do for this car to kind of keep it looking fresh, I spent so much on it. And I had a flat tire, I got this guy to come out and he's just like put up the side of the car. He's put the car on this hydraulic stuff, on this hydraulic thing. Look, the wheel's off and uh, he's just changing it over in his van ready to put back on again, amazing. Well, that's my finished car. The back wheel's been done and I've painted my hood. It looks so much better. I decided to go from the eight hour eating window down to the six hour eating window. And I've kind of been doing that for two days now, but I officially started today. But I had a really crap all protein um, lunch around two, 2.30. <laughs> I had more energy, I got a lot done, I felt a lot more mental clarity. So I've decided to go one meal a day, jump straight into it. I've been feeling a little hungry, but today is my first day of one meal a day. Don't know how long I'm gonna carry it on for, but watch this space, I'll let you know how it goes. Anyway, enough of all that. It's bedtime, it's about 9.30. I know it's early, but I am gonna go to bed, so I'll see you in the morning. I managed to get through the night without eating. However, I couldn't sleep. Two o'clock in the morning, I think it fell asleep. It was ridiculous. Your mind just playing on kind of hungry, 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 eat, 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 eat. But I'm all right now. Now up in the morning, I can wait one hour to go until eat time. Come on, gym time, bitch. Which one? You. I thought you were talking to Jack. Jack. No, to you. Close up. Close up, close up, close up, close up. Come here. Is anybody in here? I hope not. Look, these are the changing rooms and showers. Do you know what it reminds me of? School. been such a long time since I've taken the dog to the park for a run since Jack hurt her leg but now we're gonna go and I'm not gonna run around with her I'm just gonna take her to the park like uh, like sniff around and walk around and get some exercise because she's getting better I just had to get a little bit off the beaten track because this woman with this puppy she was um, shooing Jack off because she was scared that the dog was gonna do something to her dog it's not gonna happen she just wants to play hey baby Belle I feel so bad she just can't run anymore but at least she's, I don't know, I think she's feeling a bit better. She's still like falling over, but only when Jack runs into her. Hey baby. Hey baby Belle. So cute. Well, that's a bit unfortunate, Jack. We're gonna have to go back because it's raining. In fact, you know what? I'll stay here five minutes just to see if it passes. It's so not gonna. Dowly, 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 dowly,
Daniel's off tomorrow and Tuesday, so maybe we can spend a little quality time together. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> All right, good night. <laughs> what is that? Are you going to be in bed? We've got ads for delivering coming. Mm -hmm. I am outside the DHL office, self storage, and I am just going to take a really, really heavy parcel. It's, oh, anyway, it's going to ship to it's Israel. A day, and Daniel was saying he doesn't want to do anything today. I know it's his day off, and he's going to have a day off, but really, I, we did eight legs yesterday, so we are in pain. Um, and tomorrow is going to be even worse, but we can not go on the cross trainer and maybe do chest. I'm gonna try and get him up. Baby, look. I'm just thinking, are you sure you wanna miss this opportunity to go to the gym? Because we don't have to do cross trainer or anything. We're eating at one o'clock and then we can just go and do quick chest and then chest is out of the way. It's supposed to be you up. Oh, so I'm trying to wake him up so he can go to the gym as he suggests, as he said he wanted to do. It takes me such a long time to try and get through the arguments because he doesn't want to get out of bed. Anyway, I just said, Daniel, and he's moaning, blah, 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 do this for me, do this for me. I'm saying no. I said, Daniel, you try and make it right within the next one minute, otherwise I'm gone. And because he said tomorrow, he doesn't want to, I said, like, I will do my own thing. You don't come to the gym with me. And then you can do your own thing. Because I have to train him. I have to train him what to do. I have to give him the encouragement, take him down, though, otherwise he won't go. I've done. That's it, I've done. Look at that puff with the orange vest on. <laughs> I did two light sets of whatever and he comes running down and went, I'm sorry. What an asshole. Anyway, I'm ignoring him for a bit. God. Because I'm going to give him one. Oh, this guy, I promised him this bicycle what I've got in the shed and is a bit um, on the artistic autistic scale um, and he keeps bothering these guys so the guy with the dog? Uh, no just woke up and he was a fucking asshole again stop complaining about me i'm gonna go to bed and then in the morning if he's an asshole to me again i'm just gonna go it's like been like this all day every time he's waking up and he's been sleeping all day again Anyway, good night. Daniel and I had a huge meal yesterday and I have been bloated all the way from three o'clock onwards and it hasn't gone down yet. I think I just need to poo. I've just walked inside the shed and I've, my friend who works at the locksmiths, um, he owns it, his name's Roger, and he machined this hit stand. This is for the trolley because the one which I bought didn't work. So I'm gonna try and fit it. I hope, hopefully it will, because then I can take the dogs out in the trolley. Let's have a look. You see, that has to go in here. Yay! And that's perfect, because then now, if I'm not mistaken, that pin goes through there. Oh, yes! That is brilliant, because now I can attach that to the bike. <laughs> and she's sporting a little. <laughs> She does not like it. She does not like it at all. Jack, what's that? Ah, <laughs> uh, not black. We have this one. You like some black? Oh yeah. Talk about coffee. No, not talk about cocky. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Hello, Frankie. Why mm. don't you sell the house in Albania? I I love that house. Buy another one. I built that. Got another one. We're talking about houses. Don't want to talk about houses. Well, I want to talk about that, drinking. He's getting thinner and thinner. Yeah. And he's doing more exercises than I am. Show, show your nipple. Look how big it is. Tell me if it hurts. It doesn't hurt. He's such a pervert. I got an inner tube today. So now we have two wheels for the trolley already. I've got the little hitch so I can get the trolley on there for Bell. And my bitch is up. And he said he was gonna to go to bed, but I think he's gonna stay up by the looks of it. And I did say, do you wanna go out for a little ride on the bikes today? So why fix one bike? And there's another bike where you can ride, which is cool. So I think we'll go out and just take, just take Belle out in the trolley and then try and get into this routine of 
driving us somewhere and then letting her out to have a little play and then back in the trolley. But then it means it means that Jack can run and then Belle's not stressing her legs as well. So I think this is the best solution. It's so sad to see her, but she needs to get out and have fresh air and to plod about as well, but no more running for her, I'm afraid. I've been down to sort out the bikes and get everything ready, including the trolley, and I moved some stuff from one shed to another. Huge big box, and I lift it up, lifted it up, I must have done it wrong, and I heard this crack, and I fell to the floor, dizzy. So I think what I've done in my lower back right there, you know, round here, I think I've pulled a muscle. I heard it go train, and now it hurts when I sit down. Daniel just had to put my socks on. Daniel, can you put my shoes on now, please? Please. Come on, slave. Put my shoes on. Ow. Don't be so rough with me. We just tried to put all the trolley together and then there's a puncture in one of the wheels. So luckily we've got another inner tube, so I'll change the inner tube again and then hopefully it'll work this time. I can't find the second inner tube. I bought two this morning. Daniel is just brilliant at searching for things, so he found the inner tube, we've just blown it up. Look how dirty you are. It doesn't matter. And look, we are ready to go. Like push that? it, push it all the way in. Push it. Yeah, so it clicks in. Push. Does it clicks in? I think it's in, that's it. it no, it should click. Are you okay there, Belly Bill? She's fine. But at least she gets out and gets a bit of speed up, which she likes, and then she's not hurting her hips. Just need to have a little ride around the park to the toilets because Daniel's got diarrhea and he just pooed his pants. <laughs> you okay. <laughs> Look, I don't know if you can see up there. I hold it steady, but all those green cylindrical things, these are, I think they're called, we call them green gauges, if I'm not mistaken, but they're sweet, they're really nice. Just give me one, because I'm gonna get the shits, just like you. Oh, so, no, that one wasn't nice. I want a soft one. You need it ready, baby. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that is the fucking worst. <laughs> you get so mad. I can't even deal with you. Don't use them. Ah! Enough. No. Enough news. Off. Pull. Yeah. Right. I'm going to bed. Have a enough. And guys, I will see you next week, 6.30 on Thursday. <laughs> Take care.